To prepare your rear wheel for in putting on the frame, you're going to take two pieces out of your parts package. This is called the cassette pulley, where the arm of your cassette pulley faces forward. The shifter cable housing will fit into here. The shifter cable will wrap around this, and the fixing screw will actually go into this little cam slot right there. This is the locking ring that will go on here and hold this onto your hub. The instructions of how to do this are shown down here in this section of the information you get from Shimano. But I'm going to also show you how to do it right here. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the acorn nut. And take off the yellow non-turn washer. And what you'll notice on this little washer here, there's a yellow dot there and a yellow dot on this side, 180 degrees apart. We're going to take the cassette pulley and we're going to line up those two yellow dots with these two yellow dots, that triangle there and that triangle. I'm going to put them on like that. And you'll hear it sort of fit down in there. All right. Now we have a large yellow dot here. We're going to take this locking ring, put that on so it lines up with that large yellow dot, and then rotate this 45 degrees forward. That locks your cassette pulley onto the hub, so now you can shift. And this is the direction it will sit in the frame in order for the shifter cable to end here. So the last thing to do as we're preparing is put our yellow non-turn washer back on again with the tongue of the yellow non-turn washer facing rearward and then put your acorn nut back on top. Okay, now you're ready to put the wheel in the frame. When you're ready to install the rear wheel on the 7i, support the main frame with the box so that the rear wheel triangle is off the ground. On your shifter, up here on the right grip, make sure it's in gear number one. When we're ready to put this rear wheel into the triangle, what you'll need from your toolkit is a 15 millimeter open end wrench and a short piece of spoke length that's going to be used to rotate your cassette pulley when we install this fixing bolt. Make sure that your, your shifting cables to the outside and your chain is draped over this dropout when we're ready to insert the wheel into the dropouts. There should be a space between the brown non-turn washer on the left and that nut on the inside and between the yellow non-turn washer and that nut right there on the hub. Lift up your rear wheel, wrap the chain around the sprocket, line up the axle with the dropout slots, and slide it in. Slide it all the way forward, and that allows you now to pull the chain over here and drape it across the chain ring all the way down so that it's now on all the teeth of the chain ring. Okay? Your chain is wrapped around the chain ring, it's wrapped around the rear sprocket. Now what we're going to do is align the non-turn washers. They have a tongue that fits into the dropout. Align those with the tongue into the dropout. So they slide in like this, slide this back to make the chain taut, and then tighten the acorn nuts. First one on this side, and then the one on this side. Making sure that your wheel is lined up in the frame and centered. Tighten those acorn nuts with your wrench. like that. And now we're going to insert this fixing nut into our cassette pulley. There's a little spot right about at 10 o'clock where this fits into it. Okay, but what you're going to use is this little spoke that goes into a small hole right here at about 9 o'clock. And it's going to rotate this cassette pulley downward so you have enough space and slacken the cable to actually insert this into that spot. All right. And then this comes out. All right, let's do that one more time so you can see it. This goes down like that. You have slack in the cable, and that pops out. It goes back in with the nut on the outside. 
slides into that space and then like that and that's what this little spoke is for to go in that little hole and give you a lever right now that that's in there the last thing we have to do is to move right here and push this cable through that spot right there so that your end of the cable fits into the little arm on the cassette pulley all right so it's all set up the cable housing stops there the cable wraps around and it fits into this little cam slot right here when you tighten the acorn nuts and your wheel is pulled back the chain should be tight enough that it only moves up and down about a half inch that's all the disc brake here adjusts the same way it does on the front disc brakes and also shown for the 3i it's the same brake so those instructions are already known and it's fairly simple now that your wheels installed we can do one last thing and that's check to make sure that the shifter is aligned properly now we're going to make sure that the shifting gears align properly and you'll notice there's a little window in this plastic piece here that's the cassette pulley and it has a yellow line on it right there that's going to rotate around and in gear number four it should line up with another yellow line that shows up as we approach gear four so watch that window here's gear number two three four and now you see the one yellow line up with the other yellow line that means in gear four they're aligned properly they'll shift through all the gears as expected if this is not aligned properly there's a barrel adjuster up here on the twist grip shifter right here and you adjust this back and forth wherever it's needed to make sure the gear number four yellow lines line up down at the hub okay that's all you need to do at that point it's all ready to go